<laughs> All right, I'm Drew. Uh, I wanted to talk about Let's Encrypt, which is a way to get a free SSL certificate uh, for your website. Um, so this is a relatively new thing. I just got my cert earlier this week. Um, so the idea is to have uh, a certificate authority that you can get free SSL certificates from. It's automated and it's an open standard as well. Um, so. Uh, for those who don't know, what's an SSL certificate? Yes. So when you go to a website and you see a little lock, it's HTTPS, it's based on there being a what's called an SSL certificate. Typically it's something you have to pay for, um, which is a bummer if you don't have money, if you're just an individual and you want to run a website that's secure with uh, SSL. It can be very uh, expensive. Yeah, it can be expensive. Uh, and uh, without your website having HTTPS, um, the people visiting your website uh, don't have the same level of privacy and security um, that you would with uh, with an HTTPS website. So this is a way to do that on a website that you might be running for free. Uh, so as of last month, it's now trusted by all major browsers. So if you're using a certificate from Let's Encrypt, um, it'll show up with like a normal padlock. It won't say any like weird sort of error messages and stuff like that. Um, and right now it's in beta, so you can fill out um, uh, this form here. So these are all links. I posted the PDF on the wiki, so you can uh, go check that out if you want to um, follow the links. Um, so here's an example of their Hello World with uh, a Let's Encrypt certificate there. And this is in, uh, I think, Chrome. and. Uh, it's it's happy, it, does, it seems like a normal certificate, like any other certificate, so everything's all good. Um, who's behind this? It's a nonprofit called the Internet Security Research Group, which is um, kind of an industry organization with uh, EFF, Stanford Law, some of the board members, uh, also some companies like CoreOS, Akamai, Cisco. Uh, the sponsors include Mozilla, Akamai, Cisco, EFF, uh, so basically, some companies and organizations came together and decided SSL certificates should be uh, free and easy. Um, so there's client software um, that you would run on your web server um, to set this up. Um, it's a Python client. And then there's server-side software that runs on like Let's Encrypt servers uh, called Boulder. Um, and that's written in Go. Uh, so the way that this works for provisioning it, it uses something called the ACME protocol for automated certificate management environment. Uh, so right now it's a draft specification, hopefully eventually to become a real internet standard. Oh no. <laughs> I have to hit the space bar. Hmm? Technology. Uh, I should unplug this wireless thing. There, okay. So, how do you, how, so first thing you have to do is prove that you own the domain. So there's a simple process you go through to validate that you control the domain. And then it'll issue their certificate. And there's also a way to revoke their certificate if something goes wrong. Um, this is the beta participation request form. So I filled this out a few weeks ago. And then I got an email saying, OK, uh, you can uh, go ahead and get your certificate now. So there's a couple simple instructions there that I went through. I have. Uh, uh, Linux web server that's hosted on DigitalOcean, simple thing, it's like $5 a month. Uh, and I just ran these commands in the terminal on my web server on DigitalOcean. Um, this is me running the Python client um, with these instructions. So it's just a simple thing here, go through Apache, which is a common web server. A uh, few screens here, what domain do you want to get your certificate for? And then it goes through and does a bunch of stuff. And then it says, OK, you now have your certificate. Uh, it'll expire on that date, and uh, some instructions about what to do, back up your certificate as well. Um, this is just an example of the config that it gave me for my Apache um, uh, uh, server. And uh, here it is on my website now, pdp7.com. It's HTTPS. It's secured with that SSO certificate. Uh, here's what it looks like in Firefox. It looks like a normal one. It's not like all weird or anything. It's, it's cool with it. Uh, a little bit more information, it's issued by Let's Encrypt Authority X1. Uh, a little bit more information there. And here it is in Chrome, it's happy, green padlock. A little bit more information there. So one of the things is it is only for 90 days. And this was interesting, so 
third, 29% of all SSL, or is also known TLS transactions, are oh, only 90 days serves. So. Thank you, Drew. Thank you, Drew. All right. Up next.